Good day everyone, Maggie B here, peeking in with a video review, actually a cartoon video review, about a brand new application just out in the Apple App Store called Photo Puppet. That's right, Wizard, turn around because this is great stuff and you're going to want to hear it. You too, Space Iguana, and I guess the giraffe is just jumping for joy. No, seriously, everybody, this is a really fun application that you're going to want to grab for yourself and your family because it's, it's just a lot of fun to work with and there's lots of things that you could do with it. You can bring in all sorts of images. They do have some stock images like the iguana and the wizard. Those, those were in here. Um, so was the sky. I, I brought that in from their templates. The Maggie B., Actually, is a caricature that somebody sent me because they thought it looked like me when I used to wear glasses. All I did was I traced around the outside to cut out the background, and I popped myself right into a cartoon. What fun is that? You can bring in all sorts of pictures. I could have brought in my own backgrounds if I wanted to. I could bring in my spouse, my kids. Heck, I could have brought in the family dogs. I could even bring in the Christmas tree. Imagine... If I put out the Christmas newsletter this year digitally and I include a photo puppet cartoon, everybody's going to love it. What a blast to make. Now, I want you to stop by the website because I want you to see the full review. I can't show you the controls and all that kind of stuff here because, frankly, I'm a 60-foot woman that is in a cartoon. And you can't see the controls that are on the bottom, but they're very, very simple. I just now downloaded this, so I'm just playing with it, too. You're going to want to check out the website, read the full review. I'll do screenshots so you can see everything. And this is Maggie B., the giant woman that is taking over your screen. <laughs> Seriously, this is Maggie B. from Apps for iPads. See you on the website soon and talk to you tomorrow.